Hello students, this is uh, Diane K. Spear from Moody Library from the HBU campus. And I wanted to show you real quickly a quick search I ran um, on the internet, Fear, Orphobia, and Ventilator Study. And I happened to find this pretty good article here from the um, National, let's see where to go, United, United States National Library of Medicine. And if you scroll down, you can see the article is listed here. It also lists um, an abstract anxiety, agitation, and consequences, and then there's also mentions measurements of anxiety. So you'd actually have to go through here and see if they actually use a measurement. Um, it's an ethnographic study of 30 critically ill patients who are being weaned from prolonged mechanical ventilation. This is something that's uh, right on track for what's going on today uh, with patients staying in the ventilator for over 20, 20 days or more um, in a coma. So you might want to look through this. Um, I did not see a list necessarily of an actual questionnaire that they may have used, and they could have. I just didn't spend a lot of time on that. This is dated uh, 2012, so I'm sorry, 2011. So I'm sure a lot of this information, I'm sorry, 2013 here, and then here 2012, um, published online 2011. So you've got several different dates on here that you might want to be aware of. Um, but if I go back and run a new search, let me pause this. Okay, so I'm back on my original search, and I'm going to add just a word here, suffocation. There's another article that happened to come up <clears throat> that I looked to, through before, and this article is in a database called Science Direct, which we have. So when you look at this article, published in 1999, let me see if this is it. Um, you're going to have to go and go through Science Direct to actually get the full text, otherwise you'll be charged for it. So I'm actually looking for a questionnaire or, or some kind of survey. And this is looking at suffocate, fear of suffocation as components of claustrophobia. So if you take the name of this article, and I know it's in Behavioral Research and Therapy, so I could use General Locator to find this article. Um, and there's some videos already made on that if you want to go look at that. But I'm just going to take this title here, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Science Direct and through our databases, and I'm going to find this article and show you what the questionnaire is that they used. So I'm on the library's homepage, and I'm going to scroll down. Now I could go to Journal Locator, like I said, but I'm just going to go down to the databases and go straight to Science Direct. So here's a list of all of our databases. I could go through Sciences if I want to. I'll just scroll down through the, all these over on the right side, go down to the S's, and there we go, Science Direct. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and plop in the name of the article. Let's see, let me go ahead and do an advanced search. You see I'm already logged in, it's got Houston Baptist right there. Um, and let's go ahead and look for this article. As you can see, the Science Direct looks a lot different than any EBSCO databases that you've seen before. This is actually by Elsevier, so it's not EBSCO database at all. But you can see you can search find articles with these terms, and you can also add words here for the title, abstract, or author field. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, since I know the title of the article, plop that in here. Let's see what we get. Searching. And here's the article right here full text, so I'm going to open the full text, and you see, here's your abstract. I'm going to scroll down to see if I can find the actual test measures that they used. Materials procedure, I think there's several different studies in here, let me look, maybe I'm wrong. So they actually, um, let's see. They actually did not use, doesn't look, look like they used any kind of questionnaire on this one either. Okay, I finally found the names of their questionnaires. 
they've got the depression anxiety and stress scale or DAS and they've also got the let's see confinement and suffocation subscales of the claustrophobia questionnaire now I've looked at this earlier and this claustroph claustrophobia questionnaire has several different subscales that you can use as long as the you can find the psychometric properties of the subscales and you're allowed to use them separately from the whole total scale so just for fun I'm going to copy this claustrophobia questionnaire the term there and I'm really looking for the, for the suffocation subscales let me pause that and continuing to look at this you do see a footnote Rockman and Taylor 1993 so if I scroll down to the references I see that there is a reference for uh, Rotman and Taylor, 1993, Analysis of Claustrophobia, and it's in the Journal of Anxiety Disorders, Volume 7, uh, pages 281 to 91. Um, and that would be, like I said, 1993. So we'd have to go see if we actually have the Journal of Anxiety Disorders and then go open that article. So I'm going to pause. Okay, so now I'm on the library's home page and I'm scrolling down to the journal locator. And I'm going to do a search for that journal that we need. And we need volume 7, 1993, Journal of Anxiety Disorders. Run the search. And then see if we actually have those years. We have in Science Direct, we have 2007 to present. So we do not have the 1993 of that um, journal. So you might have to interlibrary loan that or see if it's actually in the library catalog on Microfish or Microfilm. I'm going to pause. Now I've returned to the library's homepage and I'm going to do a, run a catalog search and see if we have that journal. Pasting again and then clicking on periodical title in the catalog. Journal of Anxiety Disorders. We don't have it. So this would be uh, an article you would need to look for in... Um, in um, the filling out the interlibrary loan form which is under libraries homepage and then you just scroll down and go to the library services here and you could fill out this form right in here for interlibrary loan for a journal article now just for fun um, I remember that the title of the actual questionnaire scale had the word claustrophobia in it that I was looking for the subscales and so I'm going to go look for that test you can go to the library databases and scroll down and go to psych test which is a, a database in the psychology field of psychology for test and measures we have many other ways to look these up too but this would be an easy way to do that so I'm scrolled down I went to psychology in the databases I'm going down to the piece for psych test here it is I'm going to plop in the, the just just keyword I'm not even using the title of this test and we're not looking for articles we're looking for actual test questionnaire scales um, that's and such like that so you can see that here's one right here listed and I believe if you go down even further these that look like the same authors right here if I want to find the original one I believe it was which one was it I think it might be this one right here, <clears throat> Claustrophobia Questionnaire by Rotman and Taylor. I'm not sure on the year on that. If I click on the record for this test, I get information about that test. And you can see the source. Let's see, where did is it listed? The source is the Journal of Anxiety Disorders, um, number seven. So I believe this is the same one we were looking for earlier. And if you go up and you look at the PDF, I'm waiting for that to load. You should see the a uh, little bit about the test itself, and then the actual questions that they ask. Look, these with R are reverse scoring. Also, I don't see the Likert scale spelled out. They they're kind of explained a little bit here, if it is a Likert scale. But you'd have to read about that and see if you can find out how to score it, and what the psychrometric properties are of that. I'll make a quick. Uh, um, video showing you how to find out more about this questionnaire.